us and thanks so much for clicking on this video. It's going to be an exciting one because as you've seen from our title, we will be learning about a great beginner car. So just in case you're someone who just learned driving and maybe you're on the lookout for a car that's easy, fun, affordable, but still does the job, still functional, or even if you're simply someone who needs another car, something for your daily drive, maybe you're a starting family and you don't want to splurge, especially that we're still on a pandemic, so you want to be on the more practical side, then just keep on watching. the 2021 Shanghai Ausbin. Now for some of you, the brand might sound new and you might have a reliability concern. That's alright, but just a quick history guys. Shanghai has been around for 158 years already and they are considered as a worldwide car company. So basically, they already have this proven track record. One of China's oldest and largest car manufacturing company. In fact, they got ventures with the largest automotive brands like Mazda and Ford to name a few. Here in the Philippines, they just launched last year in 2020 under the same distributorship of Hyundai Philippines. So I hope that opens your mind and somehow removes that made in China stigma. Big big thanks to Shang'an and Hyundai Cebu North for lending me out this car and for making this video possible. Ausbin is a subcompact sedan and it comes in three variants. First is the manual type, second is the 1.5 dual clutch transmission, and third is the top of the line which is the Platinum. Let's go inside. By the way, this is the key, it's the modern flip type key already. of the Alsvin and it's so practically designed not to say it's boring in here you can see some silver and blue accents going on and right away you can see our 7 inch infotainment system with the overhead placement so it's so straightforward and nothing complicated then by the way it has Bluetooth connectivity already and down here you can see the well arranged buttons and it's so easy to understand at the same time it's very accessible down here you have our USB and charging port and the 12 volt socket. Now one awesome feature in here is that from our infotainment you can also track your tire pressure or you do have your TPMS tire pressure monitoring system and it's amazing because you can rarely get that type of feature from a subcompact sedan. Now for our aircon we have the circular type of vents in here which will give us a wider coverage so you can expect that it's really cold and we have in here the transmission our gear shifters parking reverse neutral and drive you also have your two cup holders in here and a bit of a storage in here with the standard handbrake now for our steering wheel it actually feels so light and soft okay and we have here a d sport type steering wheel which means the bottom is flat for more legroom and then the top remains curved for you to see the gauge cluster clearer. You also have your audio controls in here and just in case you need to answer your phone calls, you also can conveniently press the buttons from here. Now at the side, we have here our power lock buttons and power window buttons. You can also see here some white stitches and we have here the speaker. Outwing is a five-seater subcompact sedan. This is how the back looks. We have enough legroom here. By the way, I'm 5'4", so it's not bad at all. And at the side, you actually have your cup holder and story. Now here you have three seat belts. At the front, you have two and you also have your dual front airbags. Now by the way guys, Shang'an means lasting safety. So safety and security wise, nothing to worry. Now at the back, you have the halogen taillights. 
Then you have the reflector over here, the very brake light, and the sharp pin. In here, you have the Shannon badge, the main house pin. Then you have the built in camera and the three eye reverse parking sensor. Now for your trunk, you have quite enough room in here with 382 liter capacity. So of course underneath, you have your spare tire and tools. Now for the side, it's about 5 meters long. And by the way, aside from the silver gray color, you can choose from the colors red, blue, black, and white. So yes, and we have some lines going on in here. Here's our door handle. We have the side mirror repeater, four wheels, 14 inch alloy wheels, ventilated disc brakes for the front, and drum brakes for the back. Now let's look at the front. We have the grill here, which is in butterfly wings. It slightly looks like the one from Lexus. Yes. So, what do you think, guys? It may be a subcompact sedan, but it actually looks so elegant already with a bit of sporty vibe. First drive of the 2021 Shangan Ausbin in 5 speed transmission gasoline and front wheel drive. Yeah, so you can either choose from the 1.5 liter and the 1.4 liter engine. So if you get the 1.4 liter, that's the manual version with 100 horsepower. And if you choose the 1.5 liter engine, that's with 107 horsepower which is what we're driving right now so we're currently going downhill it actually feels so smooth and the steering wheel is just so light you can easily maneuver it all right here we go and voila watching this video if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button i would truly appreciate it and thank you once again to shangan and yunde sibu north who is selling one of these okay so if you want to purchase please please do hit them up all right bye guys